This week, People presents the annual 50 Most Beautiful People in the World issue. Page after page of heart-stopping beauty, the stunning portraits, the stories behind the faces, and much more. All in this week's People, the stuff you love. People. Pick it up today. genuine draft. For those who've discovered its real draft taste, the world is a very cool place. Who wants fried I do. I do. Love the taste? I do. I do. Cinnamon. Fresh mint. I do. I do. I do. I do. Trident Sugarless Gum comes in six delicious flavors, so it's up to you. Who wants fried I do. Good for your teeth, great taste too. Who wants China? I do. There's no one, and there's no mistake in it. Hello, Joe. What do you know? Alright, let's sample a bottle. I'll make it two. One for you and one for me. Diet Coke. I'll borrow my mother's earrings, her scarf, but my mother's tampons. No way! I found new Ultimates, cardboard applicator tampons from Playtex. Great protection, plus a curved cardboard applicator. Ultimates, it's not your mother's tampon. Fifteen years ago, a child began her journey, and a drop of water began its journey. Day after day, she honed her skills and the mountains enrich the water. Only after 15 years can she be called a U.S. Olympic athlete. And the water can be called Avion, pure, balanced Avion natural spring water from the French Alps. To be the best takes time. Come to Six Flags Great Adventure during spring break for the first Sports Illustrated All-Star Sports Festival, where you can crush fastballs, take the NBA challenge, experience the NFL, learn to rollerblade, check out an IndyCar, and check out some of the greatest rides in the world. It's where everybody's going to be this spring break, now through April 26th, and it's free with your paid admission to the park. So come on out to the ultimate sports experience at a place that's bigger than Disneyland, Six Flags Great Adventure. That's a 7A New Jersey Turnpike. Coming up, MTV Unplugged with Eric Clapton. Don't miss it. We're back with my special guest, Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy, thanks for coming. Well, um, what do you think of the show so far? I've never heard anything so bizarre in my life, you know. So, how are things? How's the family? My kid went to see a movie the other night and got run over. That's nice. Well, Ozzy, I just wanted to tell you that I really loved your last album. You know, uh, I really loved your singing and uh, that um, guitar thing. And uh, um, do you know what they call that thing where you, you hit it and it makes a loud noise and it, it keeps the beat? Yeah, it's called a drum. Oh. And how does it go? Thanks, Ozzy. Who would you say is your biggest musical influence? What's that black guy's name who got done um, from that rap band? Uh... Wayne Newton? Yes, yeah. Huh, interesting. Uh, what do you think about squatting down in a tub full of mayonnaise? I love it. Really? Why? It's fun, you know. Have you ever bitten the head off a live poodle? Yeah. Oh, what was that like? It's just fun. Have you ever eaten worms dipped in horseradish? On, on the, you know, it's, a, it, it's good, you know. Have you ever... Oh, no. Oh, Ozzy, did you cut one? Don't blame me. Come on, it was you. Not saying a word. There's only two of us here, it had to be you. It may be, it may not be, I don't know. Listen, Ozzy, it's stuffy enough in this basement already without you dropping stink bombs. I don't regret the thing that I've done, you know. I'm proud of 
I'm proud of what I've done, you know. Well, good for you. Hey, you want to know what I have in my pants? I would. I don't want to know. Go on, ask me. Don't even ask. I don't. I, don't, I really don't want to know. <sighs> Look, it's my bologna sandwich. I've been looking for this for weeks. Mm. You want some? Well, okay, never mind. I don't know, Ozzy. I, I don't think this interview is going very well. Uh, what, what, tell me what you want me to Wait. say. Okay, we can do that. Um, let's see. Say, lippy, lippy, or pipey sinking. Lippy, lippy, or pipey sinking. Now say, hey, Ma, pass the hammy sink. Now, what the hell is hammy sink? Come on, you're not playing right. Okay, now go like this. Now, mumble something completely incoherent. I mean, they've even, they've even interviewed... Great. Well, this is getting kind of old. Ozzy? Ozzy's kind of a stupid name. Do you mind if I call you Bob? Never mind. Um, have you ever seen Ernest Goes to Camp? That's a cool movie, man. I could get a projector and show it on my butt. I want to see the... Well, Ozzy, we're just about out of time. But before you go, I, I have to ask you something. Have you had a chance to listen to my new album? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what what'd you think? It's, it is total bullshit. Okay, well, thanks for dropping by, Ozzy. It's, it's been great. Don't bump your head on the way out there. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. Are you bored? Lonely? Looking for a little excitement but too embarrassed to have phone sex? Now, there's a way for you to join in on all the fun with the Fax Sex Hotline. I want to get faxed right now. Why talk directly to a bunch of underpaid, unattractive, foul-mouthed women when you can fax them instead? It's safe, it's discreet, and of course, it's user-friendly. And maybe you can even look yourself in the mirror afterwards and convince yourself that you're not some kind of perverted creep. The Fax Sex Hotline, because you people will call anything. Why did Paul? Why did, did you want Paul? Paul I got some questions. But, no, George, hey, Paul behind you. Not, um, no, over he here, doesn't Paul. Like Linda, this side of the camera. Uh, Linda, would you mind moving your like this, away? You can't blame Linda. Me, uh, it just, uh, hey, Lenny, it's really it's just not as big a ham as, like, uh, Ringo and me. You know, we like, well, I mean, Excuse we me. like this stuff. But George uh, is Linda, more sensible. Linda, can you get Paul for me? He likes Paul. to stay home for juice Hey, film. Paul, you where'd you get I mean? that tuck? You pay uh, cash for that? What was Ringo's veto power on hey. this film? Hey, Paul, what's like Martha Gwynn really like? Paul! Hey! He didn't. There were a couple of times. Well, it looks like our transmitter isn't going to be holding up much longer, so I guess we better sign off now. This concludes the Al TV broadcast day. But hey, we had some fun. Maybe we even learned a thing or two. And most importantly, nobody got hurt. Which reminds me, and this is important, if there are any other hamsters out there watching right now, remember, Harvey is a stunt hamster. He is a professional. Please don't try those tricks at home. Well, I had a really great time, and I know Harvey did too. So until we meet again, keep your feet on the ground, keep your head in the stars, and keep a big bowl of strawberry jello under your pillow, just in case you get hungry in the middle of the night. Say good night, Harvey. Goodbye, you bloated sack of protoplasm. If I could only get loose, I'd kill you. Uh, then get loose. Let me go. Let me go. Ah, ah, ah.